review our two trades we did today. Today is Thursday, March 2nd of 2023. And first we'll review the trade we did in our small account in Cisco, where we actually initiated this as a covered call. And we did that because we don't really get any interest on this retirement account. So I, if our return is a little bit better by doing a covered call as compared to a cash secure put option, then we'll just go ahead and do that in this account. So here you see that we bought 100 shares of Cisco and we simultaneously sold the April 21st $45 covered call. So we sold that stock, the $45 covered call, and it cost us $44.39 per share. So you see we pocketed right around 61 cents per share in option premium. And we're also lined up to receive the dividend if it's not caught away from us because Cisco goes X dividend in early April. So let's take a look at the chart here, Cisco, and see why we did this trade. All right, so here you see our $45 strike price where we sold that covered call at. So we actually, first of all, we actually have nice downside protection. See, Cisco closed the day out at $48.57 per share. So if you drop down the $45 area, we see that Cisco can actually drop around 6 7% before that $45 area is challenged. So I really like that. We're, the market is a little uncertain as to whether it wants to continue its up uptrend or if it wants to reverse and maybe start a new downtrend. So this gives us some nice protection in this position. And if we get the dividend, we have a really nice return. If we don't get the dividend, we still have a nice return because it'll be called away from us several weeks early. So that'll make our return go way up there as compared to holding it through expiration. So what did I like? Well, we see that Cisco's it found support several times around this $46 area. It found it here and about a week or so ago, actually, no, that was back in early February. And also right in this area here in December into early January, it found support at this area right around this $47 area, $46 area, which also coincides with the green 50 and red 200 exponential moving average on this daily chart. We see that the volume, we see Cisco shot way up and then over the past couple of weeks, it's just slowly been dropping. We see since it's been dropping, the volume has been dropping as well. And so now it's actually below its 50 moving average. So we see that the sellers, their excitement or their urgency to sell has kind of pretty much dissipated. So looking over at our right weekly chart, we see kind of the same thing. We see that the buyers were very excited for several months and that pushed the stock above these moving averages. Now, volume's just kind of gone down a little bit. We see it's also below its 50 moving average, which makes sense that it goes all the way back to the March of 2020 crash. So I like this position because we're, it's finding support at both the 50 and 20 moving average on both the weekly chart and over here on the daily chart. Looking at the 60 minute, we see it gapped up back on February 16th, and now it's come back down, filled that gap. So the gap rule has been filled. And now it's trying to find support on these moving averages on even the hourly or 60 minute chart. So we'll have to see if that holds. But even if it doesn't, we still have a lot of room for this position to go down and we can still get a 100% win. All right, now let's look at the trade we did in our main option trading account, which is a position that had gone against us. We rolled the ICE March 17th $105 cash secure put option out. We had to go out to June, so several months, but we got it down by five by $5 and we still pocketed a dime. So not much, but let's see why we did this. All right, so here you see both of our strikes. You see the 105 that we were at, which it had been serving as a nice support there, that 50 moving average, the green 50 moving average, even the 200, but ICE broke below it. These trades don't always go our way, so we have to adjust them wisely. So instead of rolling it out, I could have rolled it out, I could have rolled out the 105 and got more premium, but What's even more important to me than the most premium is to make a smart trade. If ICE continues to decline from here, if it breaks this area support around 100, it definitely is headed lower to 96, at least the $96 area, $97 area. And if the market really turns, which the market is in limbo right now, it's trying to decide what it's going to do. We'll see it's right at an area in this new recent uptrend. It's challenging that. It's also challenging this downtrend that it broke. It came through it and it now it's challenged that. The problem is that it's also broke through both the moving averages. So that doesn't look very bullish, but it is still finding support at this upward sloping trend on this daily chart. We see the same thing over here on the weekly chart. We do see volume is starting to fall. This week isn't done yet. This is Thursday, so we still have one more trading trading week. So be interested to see how the week ends up. If it breaks below this moving average here, then that will be a negative sign. 
Of course, this area here will probably serve as support for around 376. But going back to our trade here, we're just a little uncertain as to what the market's going to do. So we want to be careful here and repair positions when they go against us in case the market continues to decline. I can deal with not getting as high a return because I was being careful. What I don't want to do is be reckless, make a decision based solely on getting the most premium possible, and then the market continue to go down and I regret that decision. So I try to err on the side of, of making safe, well thought out, wise decisions to protect our capital. So that's what we're doing here. So we rolled it down to area right at support. ICE found support in this area in the middle to end of December. So and you see I also found support back here all the way back in September of last year. So a nice area of support for ICE. We see that way going way back, even way back in early 2020, this area served as resistance and now it's serving as support, which makes sense. Yet you guys all know that that typically happens. Resistance or support once broken tends to turn the other way. So the question is, will it hold? Well, we'll have to wait and see. It was a nice strong volume bar today on this week. The week's not done yet. We see sellers try to push it down. Today was a really high volume up day. We see this is a very strong volume bar. The second one, second highest one on this chart that dates back all the way back to August. So almost, let's say it's six, seven months. It goes back in a very high volume strong candle today in ICE. So we like this position better now. If it continues to decline, we improved our position by around 5% and we walked away with a dime. So covered commission, but it puts us in a whole lot better position if the market continues to decline as well as ICE. So that's our two trades for today. I hope you have a great evening.